Hi, I'm Paul from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. And I'm Erin. There are a lot of great Cascade samples on our GitHub repository, and today we're going to take a look at a small sample of these samples. That sounds great. Let's do it. First, let's take a look at the mother of all samples, Cascade's cookbook. This sample shows off every single visual control of Cascades and how to use them. If you want to learn how to create custom dialogue, how to nine slice an image, or display content in a web view, this sample is for you. Note there are two separate versions, and one written entirely in C++ and the other written in QML. So you can compare the two samples and see how you prefer to write your UI. Even though we all know QML is best. QML! Starship Settings is a fun little app that shows you how to use Q settings to persist settings in your app. You can change some settings, close the app, and when you open the app again, you'll see the saved settings have been restored. I found the sample very helpful, and I was able to just copy and paste this code directly into my app. Social Invocation demonstrates how your app can invoke the built-in social apps like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Foursquare. It shows you how to use the built-in share card, how to invoke Facebook to a specific page, and how to invoke Twitter to a specific feed. Location Diagnostics shows you how to use GPS and the location service. It will show you all the data you can get, like latitude, longitude, and number of satellites you're receiving, amongst other things. It also lets you verify that your app and the location service is working the way you expect it to be. Sensor Demo is a cool app. It shows off how to use all the various hardware sensors on the device in a fun way. For example, it can detect collisions, alert you if your device has moved, it'll automatically turn the light on when it gets dark, and it can help you find studs. Doesn't seem to be finding you, though. The Speedwriter app shows you how to create a custom QML component. The wordometer at the top is made up of four separate images, which, when combined together with a few properties tied to rotations, make a custom Cascades component. You would want to build something like this whenever you have a few objects that need to work together. The Cowbell app has you covered if your app needs more Cowbell. And who doesn't? It also shows you how to use OpenAL to play some audio and how to lock your app into portrait orientation. If that's what you're into. Bucket List shows developers how to connect to BBM, which can be very helpful in getting your app noticed and getting more downloads. It also shows you how to do multi-select, create context menus, and save and load data from a JSON file. Extended Search is great if you can search content within your app. It demonstrates how to be included in the search results and be invoked when a user uses the built-in search feature of the device. It's also a great example of being invoked in general. Wow, those are some great samples. Don't forget that you can grab them yourself at blackberry.github.com. Most of them are under the Apache 2.0 license, and they're mostly designed so you can just grab the parts you need and stick them directly in your app. If there's a sample you found particularly useful, or if there's one you think we're missing, you can send us a tweet at pbernhardt or at eronin to let us know. Thanks, and happy coding.